Good morning! Another fine day in Gothenburg and here comes another one of my little silly videos where I talk about stuff that I'm basically just making up as I walk along. And what am I making up today? Well, I am formulating an opinion on iOS development versus Android development. Woo! And I'm not actually talking, like, just to be clear, this is not one of those, oh, which one is better, I like an iPhone or an Android phone, like, none of that stuff. It's just uh, basically my experience is working as a developer for both platforms. And I've been doing that for a few years now. Well, not, not full time, but enough to actually formulate an opinion. So, let's start off by the, with the things that I really like about both platforms. So, let's, ta let's talk a little bit about iOS and iOS development. So, a few, something that I really like, because I, I'm, like, I'll be upfront, I've never used Objective-C. I think it's a god-awful language that has so little syn- uh, that is where like the syntax is absolutely horrible it's very unapproachable in my opinion but Swift is amazing it is absolutely amazing I love that language so much it is really great there are a few things here and there that I think is that could be better with the but you know that's always the case but overall top-notch Swift is um, like if if you're doing starting Android, uh, iOS development today, you need to use Swift. Please use Swift. It's really great. It has some so, ideas so great that I actually think that if uh, we have, if we sat down today and picked a new corporate language, this would be the language, or possibly Kotlin. Most more likely Kotlin, but it. They're so so similar that it's almost they're basically interchangeable. Apart from you know, of course, the underlying tech that is running the stuff. However, I do think that there is uh, a few things. Like, I'm sorry, I was gonna focus on the positive first. The first, like one of my favorite things about doing iOS development is that there are a few contributors like specifically Brian Wong who has gone through the hassle of actually learning this profession to an like to a professional level because I because a lot of unfortunately a lot of the people I see who share their knowledge about iOS development are in my opinion maybe not as senior as they are letting on because they there are small hints in the way that they, that they make their tutorials and videos and that stuff that kind of indicates to me that they most likely don't have a lot of professional development experience. Brian does, I can tell. Or, he, or maybe he's just a genius, I don't know. So that's a big plus to have someone like that in the community. You may think it's a silly thing, but when I, when I first started out, I mean, it was... I, it was rough. Like I didn't really understand anything, and like he really helped me to understand iOS development at like at much, 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 much better than I ever had. So, what else is really nice? Well, I like the APIs that we have for the phones. Like I really like the idea of traits being able to work with uh, basically a. Well, it, it's very nice, like, as such imports into Xcode is really nice. So you can declare different, like, it's very, it feels very natural to declare different dimensions of images. It's a very natural, like, a lot of things are, you kind of get for free. Like, the viewing system, really like that. How, like, the APIs work, it feels very intuitive to do a lot of that, of... Uh, like UI views and so forth. Overall, the API is very nice for basically the entire entire development flow. There are a few things, once again, that aren't super great, but overall, I think it's a really nice experience. And what else? Yeah, probably I would say that there's a large amount of time being invested in getting Swish, Swift up to scratch with 
a lot of things that kind of aren't in the platform right now so it's very nice to see that there's so much active development going on with the language and then that like that apple is actually really committing to this language which i think is great and then we can talk a little bit about android when it comes to android development it's java based or nowadays it's kotlin which i think is kotlin and swift are amazing like they're so like they're basically the same language well not you know not not really of course but they have so many similarities and stuff in common that i'm actually really excited about kotlin like and it's kind of unfair because I got so ha I was so happy with how Swift was working and how great that language was, and then Kotlin comes along and it runs on the JVM, which makes me even more excited because I'm a Java guy originally, and you know having basically the Java support and ability to run on any platform with the language syntax that is basically Swift is just yeah that is that was orgasmic for me. And I, I'm, I literally mean orgasmic, because that's, that's how much of a nerd I am. But, what else is there nice, that's nice about Android? My absolute favorite thing about Android development is that it's actually the thing that I hate most about doing iOS development. And that is that in iOS and like Apple gives me a very good sensation, like a very strong sensation that, hey, you know, that code you're writing, we really want to own that. You need to have a developer account, you need to sync things to them, you need to... Like, they control you so much. It's such a hassle to have to deal with all the validation and the signing and all that bullshit. That's what's very nice about Android. You can just start. You can prototype, you don't have to commit to Google as a platform just because you want to do some development. You can just experiment and that's, that's really nice. Other things I like is that they have a very, na very, very nice way of expressing views with, through their pseudo XML style of writing or creating views. I think that separation is very good. It's a very nice separation. Uh, vector graphics supported for like basically you can write your own vector graphics, which is also very nice. What else is there? Well, yeah, no, I think those are actually my favorite things about doing Android development. And so when we compare the two, obviously that's a very, it's a very poor comparison in general, because honestly, they're very, like, there's really no reason to form an opinion on one or the other. Development-wise experience, I can say that the, o the, ma the only real like the big difference because there's a pro, there's pros and cons on both sides. The only thing, if I were to make a ruling, that makes me th feel that I mean I, that I prefer Android development is as I mentioned before that the the commitment is smaller. I don't have to deal with so much hassle when it comes to Android development as I have to do with iOS development. Oh, and one more thing, I think that. It's great to see that Swift is developing so quickly, and I wish that Xcode had been developed as quickly, because there is a lot of stuff that you would expect from an IDE, especially one that is designed for one thing, uh, for, for basically two languages, Objective-C and Swift, uh, that is lacking in F Xcode. Sp like specifically, is refact like there refactoring for example you can't do that in an effective way and in a type language that's kind of like you have to have that guys like come on it's it's basic it's very basic stuff in like in any id so an android studios or eclipse or whatever you're using they do actually have that to be fair they've had a longer t a longer time to prepare that sort of stuff but that's kind of where i'm coming from here if i have to pick one i would go with android development but you know if unfortunately like really it doesn't matter ask yourself what product you're building the sm changes are so small that you can kind of make do in both but uh, yeah if you have to put if you put a gun, a gun to my head i'm gonna go with android development <clears throat> because of you know just in general there's a slight slightly better development experience yeah
hopefully you enjoyed my little rant about iOS development versus Android development.